Hola, bueno, este es Aaron con Ana Computers Day, AnaComputers.com. Hello, this is Aaron with Ana Computers from AnaComputers.com. I almost <laughs> transversed the two. Trans sending from Spanish to English. Anyways, this video deals with Thunderbird email. I'm sure you're familiar with Thunderbird. Maybe you're not, but I think a lot of people are. I'm not sure about popularity of Thunderbird email client, which is basically free and open source, whether it's more popular than Outlook, but it, it might not be, but I use Thunderbird. But anyways, I filed this under email client. Thunderbird upgrades how to fix master password problem. Have you just upgraded your Thunderbird email software to your horror? The first thing you may have seen upon restarting that program is that all your email messages and mailboxes have disappeared. Thunderbird needs to convert its database to a new format. So what happens with Thunderbird when a new version of it is ready for download and then you update it or click on upgrade or whatnot? is that usually it has to update its database. So if you did th upgrade your Thunderbird software and then the next time you opened it up, everything disappeared. Well, that could be because of the database didn't get upgraded properly. So let me continue. Sometime later, that program may have asked for your master password. You don't remember ever using a master password and you usually typed individual passwords for each of your accounts perhaps you used a master password a long time ago and forgot about it so what now you ask and how can you retrieve this master password that last sentence almost was a tongue twister it's like so what now you ask okay well I don't know I'm not an expert in writing, but so I already have Thunderbird open. I wanted to show you real quick what that last paragraph is really talking about. In Thunderbird, which is similar to Mozilla Firefox, they have a use a master password. It almost works the exact same way as in Mozilla Firefox web browser. What you would do is you would check. I don't use it on my Thunderbird, but each of my accounts I have my password saved because if I were to have to send and receive email especially what sending email you have to type in your password so that might not be the most secure thing in the world but for now I have it set that way a more secure option is to enable the master password basically what that is is that you have to enter your master password whenever your email, the Thunderbird email client accesses your email accounts. Let's say you have a Yahoo account, a Hotmail account, and maybe an Outlook account or whatever. Or you have your own domain name, anetcomputers.com, and you have your own web server and your own email server and you have your own email inbox and all that the whole seven you know what i'm saying so this is just a security precaution what would happen is you would have to enter it says right here a master password protects all your passwords but you must enter it once per session so once per session is going to ask you for your master password and then you just check that box i don't have a password set it says change master password. Well, I don't have one set. A master password is used to protect a sensitive to protect sensitive information like site passwords. If you create a master password, you will be asked to enter it once per session when Thunderbird retrieves saved information protected by the password. So you would enter in a enter new password, re-enter password. I'm not going to do it, but it has a password quality meter. And then they must match. Please make sure you remember the master password you have set. If you forget your master password, you will be unable to access any of the information protected by it. And then if you already had a master password set, you would have to type in the current password so that you could change your new password.
to a different password. So let me cancel on that. The reason why I wanted to show you that is because what can happen is that Thunderbird, for, for whatever reason, a bug, or maybe you accidentally closed the program while it was still upgrading, or maybe it crashed. It has to update its database. If it doesn't update its database properly, you pretty much don't have access to your email. And then if you had your master password set, and then you forgot it or something, there's a problem, it can cause chaos. So let me continue on to third paragraph. You can try removing that master password by typing a following command without quotes into a Windows run box. So in Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, you would click on start, run, however you get to it on XP, it's different than Vista 7 and 8. But so go to a run box and type without quotes C colon path to Thunderbird, thunderbird.exe. I should probably edit that and put a slash, but that's okay. I have an example. Space minus sign C-H-R-O-M-E Chrome space Chrome C-H-R-O-M-E colon forward slash forward slash P-I-P-P-K-I forward slash content forward slash reset password dot XUL unquote. So here's another example. And then you notice this little dash right here. Don't type that in. For whatever reason on my WordPress, it adds these dashes to continue sentences. I'm not sure why. Anyways, click, maybe it's my, it could be my, you know what? I don't know. It could be my video display resolution settings. Anyways, Here's another example. Click on start or the start orb. On Windows XP, click start. Windows 7, Vista 8, click on the Windows orb. Then select run and then type in something similar to this. C colon backslash program files backslash and then Thunderbird and then the the dots the three dots means the thunderbird directory so i guess i should probably fix that so it's not confusing you probably want to go to c program files thunderbird and then slash thunderbird.exe space minus sign c h r o m e space c h r o m e colon forward slash forward slash two forward slashes P-I-P-P-K-I forward slash content forward slash reset password dot X-U-L. As long as you type that command. And then you just want to make sure this first part that I'm highlighting is the exact file path for Thunderbird. An exact command to type into a run box is an exact path to th your thunderbird.exe file on your computer. So just make sure it's the correct path. It should be under C program files and then Thunderbird most likely, but maybe not. Maybe you have multiple versions of Thunderbird so or maybe you change the folder. Just, if, if it's not the default C program files, go out and browse using File Manager and go to the correct file path for Thunderbird. And then the rest you want to type verbatim. Thunderbird.exe, etc. And then that will run. What that will do, it will remove the master password for Thunderbird. So that could be a tip. Maybe you forgot your master password for Thunderbird and that's all you needed help with. So that's a maybe perhaps an additional tip. But it is part of this solution because I had a client, they had a problem with Thunderbird after it upgraded, and sure enough, their Thunderbird database did not upgrade successfully. And wah, 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 empty email. And can you imagine if maybe they were at work or if they needed to get work completed or they were, you know, waiting for email from their spouse or girlfriend or significant other or and 
Wah, wah, no email. Why didn't you email me? You don't love me, do you? Why didn't you respond? I'm sorry. I get carried away sometimes. but So let's get back to this. So another option is to delete a C colon documents and settings slash user slash application data slash Thunderbird slash profiles dot default. And then that last slash is wrong. So I have to fix that. It should be the opposite slash key3.db file from your Thunderbird Windows profile, which should prompt you to reset that master password when opening up this program. So in Windows XP, it's C documents and settings. In Windows Vista 7 and 8, it's C users. Another tip I could give you, and I'll scroll up. If you're having problems finding the correct path or you want to save time, it could be a time saver. Just do a search right here. Perform a search for Thunderbird.exe and that should take you to the correct directory. And then you just type the command with the correct directory, including all of this. And then also below, you what you could do is you could search for key3.db. However, caveat, caveat emptor, buyer beware, if you're buying into my tips or whatever, is that make sure it's the right key3.db. I mean, I'm thinking it's probably the only one on your computer, but just make sure that it's the key3.db that has to deal with Thunderbird, and it should be in your documents and settings user profile path. And then here... That's part of my blog post, so... Okay, I was going to get to that. Which should prompt you to reset that master password. Yes. So what you're doing is deleting that database entry, and it's apropos. It's actually written logically, at least to me. It's got key. Well, key, password. It makes sense to me anyways. So you're just deleting this little database file that had your master password. So once you delete it, then Thunderbird will ask for it again. So that could save you. An above path, quote, user is your Windows username that you are currently logged into that has that password issue. So maybe your login name is Cinderella or Tonto or Aaron or whatever. Then that's your login username. And then on Windows, obviously, there's a profile built. So that's what the user, that's just an example. Let's say if your username was Susan, it would be C documents and settings on Windows XP slash Susan slash application data slash Thunderbird slash profiles dot default slash key three dot DB. That, sla that last slash is wrong. That's a forward slash. It should be a backslash. So I'll have to fix that on my blog post. And then on Windows 7, Vista 8, it would be C users, plural, slash, Susan, slash, application data, slash, Thunderbird, slash, profiles, dot default, correct, backslash, and then key3.db. You just delete that file. And then it will prompt you the next time you start Thunderbird to create eight, your master password. And then finally, finishing this paragraph, you could also use Windows System Restore Point. Restore it to a point before you upgraded Thunderbird. This time you could go through Thunderbird settings to disable a use of a master password and then try upgrading it again without a master password set. So perhaps my instructions are too confusing and, or maybe and or my blog post is too confusing or maybe you're not familiar with troubleshooting on your own or maybe it's faster for you or maybe it's easier whatever reason it doesn't really matter one other option is if you run to this similar problem is to use windows system restore point 
in XP, Vista 7 and 8. And then as long as you have System Restorer enabled and you already have Restore Points, what you want to do is you want to try to remember when Thunderbird worked normally and before it upgraded its software or before you upgraded it or before you had auto upgrade enabled. So then you would restore Windows back to that point before Thunderbird was upgraded and before you had this problem. And then what you could do is exactly what I just stipulated in this blog post. You just go into Thunderbird right here and go to, am I going to be able to go to the preferences and then go to security, go to passwords. On mine, it's not checked because I don't have it enabled. On yours, it might be checked and then you would have a password. If it's checked, Obviously, it means it's enabled. All you would have to do is, let's just hypothetically say that I had it checked and ignore this, okay? Oh, I just unchecked it, okay? Then just click close, and then you would close out of Thunderbird, and then, then, then perform a system restore point. So make sure that you disable a master password if you're if you're having this problem. Then perform well, perform a system restore point. But then uncheck master password, disable it. Then go ahead and then upgrade Thunderbird. And hopefully this time it'll work, but just in case there's some kind of strange bug or some kind of idiosyncrasy with Thunderbird in it in it doesn't upgrade its database again, at least this time you won't have that problem with the master password if you forgot your master password. Or for whatever reason, maybe it got corrupted. Maybe you have the correct master password, but it's not working. So hopefully these tips help you fix your problem with Thunderbird upgrades and then having an issue with the master password problem. So anyways, you can always browse to anacomputers.com for other possible potential tips to fix your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.